Hello and welcome. I'm Anjana Menon and my guest today is Rajiv Bajaj, the Managing Director of India's second largest bike maker, Bajaj Auto. Rajiv, thanks so much for joining us. Sure. Um, I want to start a bit with uh, the market. There seems to be a perceived slowdown in the market. You've got the interest rate whammy, you've got the economy slowing, inflation and people worried about spending. Do you expect that there will be a perceptible drop in sales for two-wheelers? See, first of all, why don't you introduce me as the managing director of India's most profitable motorcycle manufacturer? Because I'll come to the profitable bit later. Okay. So about the market then. There's no doubt that uh, if we compare with the previous year, uh, there is a slowdown in the growth rate. Um, having said that, I think as things stand today, um, that's felt more by commercial vehicles and cars uh, than, than by two-wheelers. And in a way, that stands to reason because when it comes to things like interest rates, you know, the, the quantum of difference it makes is obviously much more on a relatively a higher ticket item. Um, now within two wheelers I think again each company's situation is different. Um, in Bajaj Auto's case as far as uh, the domestic market is concerned, our market share is still relatively low uh, at about 26-27%. So even if uh, growth tapers off a bit, you know one can uh, offset that with some market share gain. Also um, in, uh, in the last year or so, what we like to call the bigger and sportier bikes, uh, which is typically, let's say, 125 cc and above, uh, the growth rate there is uh, far greater than that in the 100 cc motorcycle. So since we have a more dominant position um, in the bigger motorcycles, uh, that differential growth helps us. Secondly, for us, exports is a big component of our sales. Uh, we export uh, one in three motorcycles that we make. And fortunately, the export markets are still strong and there are new markets being entered all the time. So, um, all this put together uh, allows us to still stay with our guidance uh, with which we started at the beginning of the year, uh, which was that we'd like to target a 20% growth. Uh, we've been in that range for the first two months. Uh, and I think as of now, things have not changed sufficiently enough for us to review that. So that's how it is from our perspective. You know, um, I want to ask you a bit about um, commodities. Well, you did hike the price of some of the bikes in April. If commodity prices head north and oil stays above 100, there's every chance it will. will can, you, can consumers uh, look at another hike in, uh, you know, in your bike prices or are you going to absorb it? Because well, it would be impossible to sell in this. It's hard to say because uh, so far uh, we have managed to pass on uh, the majority uh, of the cost increment to consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, now what we must consider is A, what will happen with commodities. My own sense is that the worst is over. Um, uh, when we reviewed uh, last the, the outlook for, for the next quarter, it doesn't look as if there is anything there to really worry about. In fact, uh, one can possibly hope for some relief with uh, what uh, is consumed the most, which is the typical steel products. So we are hopeful of some relief there, actually. So first of all, I think uh, there may not be a case uh, for commodities exerting any more pressure uh, than they already have. And secondly, in terms of passing on, uh, ultimately it's a relative decision. Hmm. It depends on what the competition also does. Hmm. So far, the industry's attitude has been to keep the industry healthy. Hmm. And uh, whether it's been Bajaj or Hero, TVS, etc., we've all been uh, passing on the increase to the consumer. Uh, and yet, everybody is registering double-digit growth. Hmm. So the industry is, is healthy so far. Hmm. Um, certainly, we would be of the approach that uh, it has to be passed on. But we can't make that decision in isolation of, of what competition does. If there is a price hike, what quantum are we looking at in percentage terms? Typically, it is between 500 and 1,000 rupees mm -hmm. on a motorcycle mm -hmm. and a couple of thousand rupees on a three-wheeler. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, perhaps to answer that question more completely, if at any point uh, we have to make a choice uh, between profit and volume, we will always uh, vote for profit because we know the cycle will turn at some point um, and the volumes will come back. Yeah. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, fastest scorecard, special analysis and much more.
Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.